Hello and welcome to another episode in our journey around all of the commanders here in a direct strike. And today we've landed on Zagara. Zagara, the uh, brood mother, the biggest of the queens. Well, the focus is a lot on queens. Like some of the other characters here, we get one giant brood mother unit. Uh, well, it's, it's Zagara, and it acts similar to Zagara does in Heroes of the Storm. And that's actually kind of how this whole whole character is designed. Let's go ahead and put our defenses across the front, keep ourselves nice and safe. Really, these defenses are just here to take damage for the for the front line. And uh, what we're going to do here is build one of these, and we're going to try for a little bit of a tech switch right off the gate. Put a couple of these guys down and start saving up. Saving up our resources. Come on, I just need this down real quick. Real quick. Here it is. There we go. Alright, so now onto the abilities. For the abilities of this character, the first one is the Mass Frenzy. It is a global boost, global boon to all of our. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. A global boon to all of our units. It gives them a. Where is that? Is this? A attack, damage, and movement speed increase. For everyone, all my allies, all of my teammates, all of my own units, get a massive benefit, and that's pretty good. It's got a pretty long cooldown. The other ability is the, a free splitterling. It's it's a free baneling for me to place down in my units every so many seconds, every 90 seconds actually. I get one of these I can place for free without any without any cost, which is pretty nice. But now that we've gathered a couple resources, they know what I'm building. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this with a lot of zerglings and have them all line up in the side followed up by a few banelings there we go and put down a free one as well like so so our next wave will be quite tanky at the front line followed up well i suppose at the same time by a large crash of zerglings so the first thing i want to do is go ahead and get all the upgrades for these guys uh yes that's double damage for banelings i want that pretty quickly I'll go ahead and put all of these on autocast because I'm going to want them as soon as I get them. I don't think I want to get the speed upgrades for these just yet. It looks like my opponent here, this particular wave, is not uh, not spawning anything just yet, which is kind of concerning. But we did take down a couple turrets, which does nothing. Great. So next up, we want to just get more stuff. I'm going to leave these guys over here. I probably want to pull them back, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll bring these guys all the way to the rear. One, two, three. And just build out from here. I'm setting in Zerglings first so that any splash damage or so anything that gets in the way won't, uh, won't kill the Banelings. Oh, that's why they're flagged as AFK and has been removed from the game. All right, so now it is back to a uh, three versus two, which is fine. We're going to have many, many more things to, to counter. Great. So let's go up to tech level 2, not bothering to get upgrades just yet because we don't have units worth upgrading. Uh, yes, they'll need upgrades eventually. But I'm just going to kind of do this pattern of Zergling, Baneling over here on the side, but we'll get around to that later. I, right now I want to get a bit more tanky front line. Oh, this is nice. Look at them all just crash along and break everything. Oh, so these banelings are special banelings. Not only are they regular banelings, but upon death, they split into two, what are they called, splitterlings? Like, uh, I forget what they're called. Right, let, me, let, me, let me read it here. To two, sp splits into two spawns upon death, which are just tiny banelings. They do the same things as splitterlings do. Oh, oh, that's a bunch of mutalisks. Those, uh, those are going to get AoE down real quick by those Thors. Hopefully that, I, I, I'm actually going to want to see you see how that breaks down, but before we start running out of monies, I want to spend it before the next wave happens. Much better. Our wave is here, we have units, let's go ahead and put this guy, where can we put this one? Uh, over here. There we go. As long as it draws aggro away from our cannon, we're good. Hopefully I don't lose all my banalings to these dragoons. i oh, kept a couple of them. Oh, nice! Uh, you see... That uh, could have been better. The Thors just kind of vaporized everything, which is always fun. Go ahead and get the next extractor. Put down my next free splitterling. And do I want to get a queen or a tech up again? Let's get one more queen and then we'll tech up. So I'll go ahead and auto cast this. And put the queen down. There we go. We'll start teching up. Once we hit tech level 3, we unlock Hydralisks. Hydralisks are our main damage dealing 
units here on this commander. Luckily, these mutas are a bit off, so they don't fight the... Uh, they aren't fighting the Thoris just yet, but that's going to change because we have three spawns and they only have two. Oh. Well, two alternating back and forth. Yeah, I gotta look out. Yep. Yep, teammate realized these brown Thors, which is gonna be bad. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. Fortunately, uh, Thor is not great versus minor versus these kind of groupings, so we should be able to take them out pretty easily. But the Banley is coming in for the cleanup around these zealots. Thors have gone down. Oh, so if you guys notice, Zagara is doing some pretty major damage here. Uh, it's hitting four units at once with their attack, and it's quite powerful, quite tanky, sitting on 800 health. Uh, Zagara is a good unit. Uh, if I could have more than one Zagara, I would absolutely have more than one Zagara. Uh, so let me go ahead and purchase these. And put them on autocast so they will be purchased as soon as possible. Another Splitterling is available, so I'll go ahead and put him down. As we wait to be able to obtain Hydralis. The moment we obtain Hydralis, just put them in the back. And then we're going to start getting some upgrades on the units. These Middleists are actually doing pretty good. Same kind of uh, Air Zerg strategy we saw out of, out of Apathur. Works pretty well. I've actually been refining that build a little bit, making it a bit better. I'll probably do a video on that one again eventually. Maybe after we loop around and do all the other commanders. That build, the new build, actually works with Leviathan. So next up, we want Hydralisks, and a lot of them. Alright, are you guys going to pull aggro? Yes, please. Thank you. Go kill all the Thors. Banalings, not all that great versus Thors, but the Zerglings will just kind of just kind of go around and murder everything. Just like that! Ta-da! Alright, we get finished off with the Protoss. Fortunately, this Protoss doesn't have a whole lot of anti-air, so these Mutalists are just going to just obliterate everything. Oh, that was a High Templar. That's going to be problematic pretty quickly here. Good. Alright, time to get some Hunter Killers. Hunter Killers, if you guys recognize the name, are the Super Hydralics of the Long Lost Brood War. And they act just like it. They just do a lot of, a lot of good. Get over here. How's this going? Very uh, all right, all right. So let me go ahead and um, and put down the next structure, bio launcher, just a giant artillery structure. Very good. Now I I do have the mass frenzy available. I don't know if I want to use it here. Yes, using it here. Get all those banelings in. Let the hydralis go to town. Get some extra damage out. Try to even the odds a little bit to help out my zerg friends come around. There we go, and that should leave minimal amounts up, no splash left. And have Needless clean everything up. Much better. We have successfully claimed a wave for a run. Put down the next Splitterling. And watch the Mutalis get Oh my lord, the Mutas actually just beat out the Thors. And they got a pretty meaty hit in here too. Look at all those Mutas. They were all damaged into the red, and they're just healing back up like Mutas do. And they're just gonna kinda just fly over everything. All right, all right, that that works. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this is a what is called a high archon. It's a special archon. Uh, it is a high templar cross with an archon. It has the high templar abilities, which I suppose kind of makes sense. You would expect an archon because it's made out of two high templar to still be able to use the high templar abilities. Uh, and to be fair, um, I, I understand why it's not in the game because it is broken, incredibly broken. Don't you love seeing Banelings blowing up Thors? Look at that! Oh my lord, it's just so much damage. So much damage. There we go. Do we have any ability? No, all their abilities are on. Cigars run out of energy. Can't use any of the abilities. Yep, yep. That one Archon doing egregious damage to all of those mutas. That's just disgusting. But the mutas are actually coming here and deal a lot of damage. Is it actually? Oh, we actually take down. All right, nice. Very nice. So next up, I want to add an another wave of Zerglings in here, just to uh, clean up whatever the Banelings don't. We've got 3-3 three, three all over the place. We're going to throw in some Aberrations, but first I want some more Hydras. Go. We'll, we'll, we'll get a lot more of those in a moment. Let's see how this works out. There we go. Yep. Oh, all those all those zealots running face first into the banelings, getting just about entirely cleaned up. That's that wasn't a good idea on their part. Unfortunately, I got cleaned up here by these uh, high archons, which is 
not a good sign. So let me go ahead and put this extractor, next extractor down so we can have full, full production. Oh no. Oh no. Mutalists. Oh god, that was so brutal. So brutal. Those mutalists just getting... Just oh good, Jesus! The, the the first two hits just completely destroy the mutilus. The only reason these are surviving so long is because they have Abathur's biomass associated with them, so they get a lot more HP and just kind of face tank everything. Can I get another one of these guys down before the wave starts. I can. I'm gonna get a save on these splitterlings for a moment so I can start up another another segment. Let's let them pile up. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy before it murders all. Okay, thank you. There we go. Oh, oh dear. So that Thor's AOE ability is gonna be a problem for me. A pretty big problem. Um, I don't know how to deal with that. Probably gonna need teammate assistance. This is not the answer to Thor's, by the way. Mutas really don't do well versus Thor's. Oh god, the storms. Oh god, they have so much splash. Oh jeez. So if you guys are wondering, this is Leviathan, giant creature. It flies over like a giant, well, pokey tentacle monster. It just stabs everything. And it does really well versus everything. It's also tanky. It's got like 10,000 health or something. Where, where are you? Where are you? Here you are. 1,000 health. I, 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 I meant to say 1,000 health, I promise. Let me get some more of these guys. Next up on the line, we need aberrations. Aberrations. Put these guys over here. They are tanky melee units. That's what they do. They tank things. So hopefully they can tank some of these Thor hits and lead the charge in front of our swarm. I'm really concerned because Z Zagara as a commander really thrives on having a lot of smaller units that hit hard. So uh, having both enemy waves here focus entirely on splash is not great not great at all okay so what i'm gonna do is set more of these guys over here have them come in a little bit delayed try to deal with these thors on the side have another wave over here at front and set up the splitterlings right over here so we have waves coming from both sides very good yeah, they're just they're just getting wrecked. So hopefully these guys and this guy will bait out a lot of the splash. And let all the guys from the side come in and clean things up. Yes, there it is. Oh, yeah, no. It, so the right side worked as desired. The left side did not. Unfortunately, the right side didn't have much in the way of units. So I'm going to need to need to do more of that. Here... Uh, do I even want splitterlings here? I don't even know if that's a good idea to have them there. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more queens. Here. Got a tankier line. These leviathans are doing decently well. They're not really vulnerable to splash. Unfortunately, their DPS isn't all that great. So they're just going to get shot out of the sky by things like dragoons. Like, we've been hard countered for so long. I... Jeez, this is... This is going to be an exciting one. We're going to get really clever to come back from this. All right, next wave is coming out. Come on, do it. We got siege tanks in front. Okay, that's working. You know, it might behoove me to have some zerglings just straight on the front line. Oh, jeez, all of the psionic storms. It really doesn't help that the. Uh, oh, what's? Why is this happening? So all of my hydras are moving in front of the queens. Which is not ideal. Oh god, the splash damage is real. Oh yeah, that'll clean up the mutas real quick. Oh yeah, that'll clean up the mutas. Okay, so the range on these queens is 5 for the main, for the ground attack, 8 for the air attack. These are 6. So the only reason these hydras would move up is if these queens are hitting aircraft. And if they're hitting aircraft, I want to clear out the sky. So I'm going to do that by getting a couple of these guys up. In fact, let me get a detector just in case. Not that I've seen anything that we need detection for. Get a couple corruptors for long air superiority. These corruptors are pretty neat. They, uh. Death Rattle spawn Scourge. 
which are nice. Scourge are pretty powerful, if you guys remember the Brood War era. Giant banelings of the sky. Well, tiny banelings of the sky, really. Yeah, there we go. Now the Hydras weren't really that far in front of the Queens. They're at least alongside, which is good. And I think the reason the Queens are sitting further back and not tanking, because there's science vessels here. So if I get rid of the sky, then I should be able to have a better front line on the ground. I'm going to do that. Like so. Just, just get a bunch of these guys. And just blow everything out of this guy. These cost 65 each. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And I'm going to upgrade some of these. Put this guy down before the next wave spawns. Uh, we're going to lose our cannon here. Uh, we've got a bunch of, we got a line of tanks. That should, that should hold it off. We'll be fine. Should be fine. For the moment. Okay, yeah, that Thor active ability is just slaughtering the Banelings on the side. I really need to do something about that, and I think the solution is to have a small line of Bane, of just Zerglings across the front. Will that do it? Let's add another site right here. Just to try to trigger as much active ability and, well, as much AoE as we can on staggered formation. Let's split you up a little bit more. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to. Don't want to do that. Actually, if we get if we have uh, the lines separated, then the AI moves them separately, which is good. It like makes these kind of control groups that it seems to work out. You'll notice some of the wave tends to split off differently. It's a neat little trick. Uh, we are holding the line, actually, with pure tank firepower. Just destroying everything. That's pretty good. Okay, then. I think the transition from my allies into Thor's is what's doing it. Let's come on. Trigger. Trigger. Oh, dear. That triggered over there. That's not good. But, oh, The Scourge just about cleared out the sky. And oh, it worked. We survived the AOE. We had Zerglings push back. I mean, now we're getting cleaned up by the next wave, but we can, can't really do too much about that. All right, that's much, much better. Let's go ahead and activate the Frenzy ability. Give these Mutalists some massive damage output. Uh, well, they got all murdered, but at least they cleared up the wave a little bit. We pushed pretty far. Oh dear, Leviathan spam. Okay then, let's go ahead and put down two more of these guys. What else do we need? I think we need more aberrations. Let's go ahead and put this guy over here. These guys can be placed on top of ground units, and units on which are underneath them take 50% less damage, so they work really well in terms of uh, absorbing things like splash damage, which is why I had him out here. See how he's, he's taking storms? That's what, that's what we want. Well, the Zerglings come in for the cleanup. More Banelings. All right, we are we are doing this, doing this nicely. We're also we're also getting wrecks. They have some pretty heavily stacking waves, which is not great for us. But we are owning the air. We're very very heavily owning the air. I think next up, God, these things are just repairing everything. Oh God. I, I want more Scourge. I don't want those science vessels to be around anymore. Just make them stop. There, that should that should help out. I want some more of these guys too. Then next up will be a bit more Queens. After we finish up this line of Hydras. There we go, you see the front line of Zerglings taking several storms and triggering the Thor active ability. Oh god, they have so many Thor active abilities here. If, what I wouldn't do for something like Ravagers right now. We just don't have the tanky front line for this. That's that's what we need to fix. If I could have a tanky front line, I'd be able to survive much, much better. So this is two attacks at 39, no bonus to no bonus damage type. It's armored, so I should just be able to get a bunch of apparitions. If only they weren't so expensive. But I'll cast that. Alright, aberrations it is. Go here.
I just need more things, more of all the things. Uh oh. Our turret's going down. No. Couldn't save it. All of that splash damage taking out those zerglings. Hey, at least the Scourge are doing their job, clearing out all of the aircraft on their side. Oh dear. Queens, be tankier! That's eh, not it's not happening. They have so many Archons. So many it's like zombie toss all over again. Only much, much more powerful. Oh jeez. Okay, spellcast. I don't have any spellcasters available to me. I am just a blunt object. So we need to be more blunt. And just hammer, hammer it all in. More aberrations, please. Bring it downtown. Leviathan's coming in. Leviathan's actually do pretty well here. They're tanky enough to, well, sit back and deal the damage. They start stabby, stabby. Just do your tentacle monster thing and stab everything. There we go. This guy's doing as much work as he can. Guardians really don't do that much damage, but they can sit in back and just kind of eat things one at a time, which is good. He'll, he'll do that a lot. Here comes my wave, here to clear everything out. Go ahead, clear out all the science vessels. All of them are gone. Yes. Oh, that's nice. I got a couple corruptors flying past to try to die to the next wave. Next wave doesn't have any air, so I'm okay. Curious, what can I do? I think I just need a tanky, just more and more tankiness. Let's just don't let it stop. Let's see, should I put one of these guys right here? Let's do it. Have him defend those guys as they run in. What if I have... These guys don't do much damage, do they? Actually, they do. They do a pretty fair amount of damage versus uh, armored units like Thor's. It could do well to have a couple of those guys in the back to clean up after all the AoE has been spent. That might be the answer here. Giant Zerg aberrations. This game is going on for a long while, and I'm okay with this. <laughs> ah. Ah. These guardians are still out here. Actually, this is a new one. Alright, time to clear out all of their things with my hammer of Zerg. Yep. Look at this. Aberration going to town. Wow, we just walked all over that wave. Uh, unfortunately, we're now facing off a new wave and have no more tanky things. Go on, Zagar, you can- you died. It's fine. Okay, time to add more aberrations. Aberrations. Let's go ahead and put you back here. Let's put you back here. Put you here. Oh, need a little bit more more money for that. Some free explosives over here. I don't know. This is a uh, Rory Swan commander out of the Terran. They're going for the similar builds now. Siege tank Thor science vessel, which I suppose isn't terribly surprising. It's a incredibly power. Oh no, that's a problem. Reavers. I have so many nightmares of Reavers. No, that's not a. Uh, Firefly reference. Alright. Zerglings actually putting in work. Look at that. Zerglings surviving the AoE on the first wave. That's that's how you know you're doing it right. Oh, so these Zerglings are special Zerglings. Uh, not only do they gain a fair amount of armor, look at this. 8 damage at 0, 3, 5 attacks, pretty normal, with 3 armor, move speed, 45 health, but they remove the target's armor for 10 seconds upon hitting it, which is massive. That just takes these Thors and makes them not tanky anymore, which is really good. You know, actually, my teammate could probably do well with a couple more Vipers. You get out that mass blinding cloud. You could disable those Thors and really everything else and just claim the skies. Go ahead and put one of these guys over here. Ta -da. So now we've unlocked the strike weaponry. It's uh, designed to be a way of helping the game end by giving all of your units additional move speed and attack speed, which is really good. Really very good. 
Oh. oh, the Scourge. They didn't make it. They didn't make it at all. They tried. It's okay. They, they did what they could. Another one of these guys. So now, everyone on my team's got additional move speed and there's a, there's a move speed and weapon speed, which is good. I'm assuming the enemy are going to be doing the same exact thing, so it's... As long as we keep spending on that, then the, the odds will be evened at all times. Which I don't know how that's supposed to be described as game ending upgrades, but you know, I guess it is what it is. Put down another one of these guys here. At this point we're just going to be like, have more aberration, aberrations than, than Zerglings. Which is probably for the best. Hmm. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of explosions. Like, we just completely crashed upon the wave and cleared it out. Oh yeah. All those zealots went away. All the shields off of the Archons went away. Unfortunately, we didn't take care of most of the Archons themselves. But, you know, when the shields are gone, there's really not much left of an Archon. But if those muters are still there, and they're still doing damage, which is surprising to me, considering- Okay. I spoke too soon. I- I should just not talk. Because those muters, like, took out one tank before going down. I need to spend money before all, it all gets wasted. Okay, you go here, you go here. There we go. Much better. Uh, do I want to have someone here? Let's go ahead and put some aberrations in the back next. All the way back here. I just keep getting our wave bigger and bigger and more swarmy. I'm okay with this. Maybe we should put some zerglings in the back too. Just to have them trickle in after after the AoE is no longer targeting targeting the zerglings. So I've noticed they've got a lot of these reavers on the side. Reavers are pretty good against zerglings, at least in an alpha strike. It just feels so good, my wave is like so suicidal, it just crashes into it doesn't matter what's there, it's gonna break it. It just kind of loses out some longevity. Let's go this guy here, and this guy here, and a third right here, perhaps? They come in after the fact. In terms of longevity, what could work? Perhaps some more queens back here, with the aberrations in the back. Definitely some zerglings to keep up the trickle. I still think we need to work on some more Hydras, but I'm not sure what the solution to this is. I mean, it's a tug of war, so we need to just keep going, but this is certainly, certainly one long tug of war. All right, this time we're going to activate the Frenzy. Let's go. Movement speed increase. Get in there. Filter through. Break everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just walked right over them without even stopping. We didn't even, we, our, our line didn't even have time to form. We crashed into that so hard, but the tanks, the tanks aren't even have time to siege up. But unfortunately now all our dudes just kind of died immediately and the tanks are going to be exposed. But, uh, at least we, oh, the next wave is coming in to help out. The tanks are going to live. This is actually game, this is actually possible. Oh, my teammate can Oh my god, look at all the vipers. So much blinding cloud, everything is shut down. That's keeping them alive long enough where we're actually starting to take off some shields from their core. Oh jeez, but the blinding cloud has worn off and we did- we we're, we're actually dealt damage to their core. We brought it down to 75%, but it's not enough. Alright, 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 we're still dealing damage. The tanks are still in the back shelling it. It's going down. It's, it's just shy of 25% health. Oh god, it's just shy, and I don't think it's going to be enough. My wave is coming up here right now, and my wave is the one that really starts to break things into pieces. Can we d push far enough? I Still a couple tanks left over from the previous wave, but its I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh god, the Scourge coming in, just shredding the air. Oh no, it's just barely not going to be enough. Alright, let's go spend our money. Alright, you go here, here, and here. I need another couple more Hydras, just to keep the damage up. Oh god, I can feel the frame rate 
crying out. We almost had him with that push. That frenzy was top. But now they've got Tempest. And our Tempest going to make a difference here. I think... Yes. I think yes is the answer. Is they're able to sit back and get a few strikes off of some pretty key units. Like the uh, Thors, for example. The Thors do decently well versus the Tempest, but the Tempest also do decently well versus the Thors, which is better than what we had before. But I think I just need to uh, get some more Scourge so we can fly in and blow up all the Tempests. Perhaps a few more Corruptors. We had uncontested air superiority before. And let's, let's try to keep it that way. Yeah, let give my Corruptors something to shoot at. Alrighty. Another Baneling. <laughs> Never played this past 30 minutes. You know, I haven't either. I think they're just so evenly matched is what's going on here. Here and here. Come on. How much do these cost? 250? 225. Oh, jeez. That's not cheap. Fortunately, our Corruptors are also a uh, Scourge. Which is nice. Very nice. Dear. He's activating his defensive abilities. No, stop it. Ah. Let's go ahead and add our other. Wait, did I do this right? It's fine. Next up, adding a little bit more scourge because they just keep adding more tempests. Yeah, our current Scourge Wave is not enough to crash and completely destroy the Tempest. Our Corruptors are cleaning them up, but I want to I want to flatten them right out the gate. We're just remorseless, remorseless flattening and just clearing the skies. Make them, make them regret the day they decided to add Tempest into the mix. There we go. Come on. Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Just full on flying banelings. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Yes, got it. Now that is a that is a tank line. Oh god, that's also a very dead tank line. There's nothing in front of it anymore except for a couple soon to be extinguished Thors. Oh jeez. Siege up. Oh dear, they're sieging up in such a way that my units can't get through! Oh, the uh, Scourge can get through. Those those work nicely. Yep, yep. That's, I, you know you did. W you have too many Scourge when your Scourge survive. Scourge are not supposed to survive the suicide wave. That's, that's not how Scourge work. I'm just gonna have this massive swell of Banelings over here. Oh god. Okay, let me get some more Zerglings in the back. Just to help clean up. Also want some more Queens right back here. So where's that? Right there, right there. Here. Come on, just one more Queen. Come on, gimme, 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 gimme. Ah, I didn't get it in time. Oh well. He's got so many of these biomass infused guardians. Uh, well, oh look, it's Tempest. That's more Tempests, actually. That's that's more than he had before. So I need to start adding some more Scourge on then. Because that can't be allowed. They're not allowed to survive like that. There we go. Well, I still have Scourge remaining, so I probably have a decent amount. But do go ahead and activate the Fury here. Mass Frenzy for the finish! And that is it, guys! Wow! Now that was a that, that was the hammer of Zerk. Alright, guys, if you want to see the next commander, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we got the next video coming out soon. But for now, have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you guys later.